We just got to the gym. There's no one here. Let's go in. Let me show you guys. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Crickets. We are going to be filming a hamstrings and glute workout for you guys. I'm super excited because today we're gonna to be going golfing with some friends after we leave the gym. And I haven't been golfing in so long, so I'm very excited. I have a licit top on and licit leggings, and I kind of just cut it out myself. This was the Essential Collections, and I love this. So soft. One of my favorite outfits from that line. First things first, we're gonna start off with lying leg curls, and I'm going to be doing four sets of this exercise. We're gonna start off with um, 12 reps, and then as the sets go on, I'm like my fourth set, I'm gonna do eight reps. So I'll just keep adding weight with every set. There is one thing I wanna tell you guys when you're doing this exercise and you go up on the weight, you don't wanna be lifting your butt up like this off of the platform. You kinda of wanna press your hips into the platform the entire time. And I don't like to go all the way down where my knees are locked out. I will always keep them bent, just like this. Stop right here at like barely before you walk out and up and squeeze. Next up is single leg RDL. What I like to do with this is have an area where you could hold on to something, especially if you're not good with like your balance and stuff. And with this one, I like to keep my leg, um, the working leg a little bit more bent. Don't lock it out or anything like that. Take your dumbbell and basically drag it up your shin. And I like to stop barely above the kneecap. And then back down, get a nice stretch, back up. We're gonna be doing four working sets, and I like to do about 10 to 12 reps with these ones. Make sure you control the weight on the way down. You don't wanna just be falling down fast. This is the moment we waited for. Everything you want is right here. We gonna give them what they came for. We gonna take it up from last year. Shoot them a shot, boy, I'm long range. Okay, moving on from single leg RDL, we are at the Smith Machine because we're gonna be doing some Smith Machine hip thrusts. And I did get my tattoo removed yesterday, so it's still very swollen in this area. So I'm not gonna be going too heavy with this. I do want some protection and I'm using this bar pad. Typically with these, I like to do four to five sets. Uh, I like to do higher reps, so anywhere from 10 to 15. So this part is probably the most important is just getting comfortable because everyone's body is so different. So, I want to keep my chin tucked, bring it down, and you don't want to be moving your body like this. I literally try to keep my upper body the exact same and just push with my hips. People want to talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these scenes don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy. When you try to eat, I produce it and rap it. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie. And I ask you politely, what's it that you are? Next up is single leg cable kickbacks, um, glute kickbacks. And I like to use these ankle attachments, and you just put them around your ankle. Um, you could get them on Amazon, or sometimes gyms even provide them for you. Hook it on, just like that. And then I just like to start off real light at first. And for me, I like to start with my weaker leg. For some reason, it's always my left side, so I'm gonna do my left side, left side first. Now with this one, um, I like to bend forward at a 45 angle, hold onto the machine here, step out enough, and just kick back, trying to keep my leg somewhat straight. You don't wanna be arching your back like this, so you kinda of wanna keep your back straight and just move your leg. Turn too far for grown man to tell me how to get mine. How y'all still talking, I don't listen. I swear we never align. Y'all ain't never done it, still give advice. I don't take directions from the blind. Just say I'm a job or y'all unemployed. I told them go and apply. That's some real facts, but they won't listen. Don't take opinions, y'all only give them. They crash on the road now, but I stay my line. I was always driven. Had to get it out of tunnel vision. Steph Curry, man, I'm never missing. Back in the day, I was in the office, now I'm getting paper like it's on the mission. With this one, I like to do about 10 reps. Okay, last workout is...
separate walking lunges with this one. I prefer to do a barbell instead of doing dumbbells, but I do do dumbbells sometimes. I just always love barbell. And with this one, since we are working our hamstrings, what I like to do is take a little bit of a longer stride and kind of lean forward to hit my hamstrings. If I were doing quads, it'd be a little bit of a shorter and I would sit more up right on top of my hips. So, but this time we're gonna go a little bit wider and I'm gonna lean a little bit more forward. Get it up, uh, get it over. And I like to do about 12 reps on each leg or you guys could basically pick an area where you have available to do lunges and just make that your, your rep range basically. I barely hit my knee, but you could stop right here. So just like this right before you're about to hit your kneecap. And try to walk, take your step right in front of you. You don't wanna be walking out wide or doing anything like that. Okay, so that is the end of the workout. If you guys want that full routine, I will make sure that I put it down in the description so you guys could give this whole workout a try. I've really been enjoying like planning these little YouTubes. I've just been super motivated to get back into it and show you guys my workouts. Whenever I have a friend working out with me, I just love to explain all the form and everything that we're doing. So I thought like, why not show you guys? So hopefully you enjoyed this workout. Let's head to the golf course. Hey everyone, hey, we just got to the golf course. We are at Rolling Hills in Tempe, Arizona and it's super beautiful outside. It's like 80 degrees, blue skies. We're with our friends, Kyle and Chevy. So we're all playing together. Yeah, it's a small golf course. It's been a minute since Hunter and I have golfed, so we are a little bit rusty. We are on the back nine. Par four. I am not good, so just to let you guys know. So yeah, let's see how I play. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Ow! Mother! I'm sorry. Cock! Sorry. Oh sorry, I'm sorry. Shit. Hit me. God! Shit! Oh. I'm actually so impressed with myself, I didn't even know I could do that. I get really nervous when people are standing behind me. <laughs> My hands start to shake and then I completely mess everything up, but... Get up, get up. guys so that's a wrap I had so much fun I played a lot better than I thought I was going to this is a brand new course so I didn't really know what to expect but I thought it was like a great course everyone was super sweet too I remember there was a day where I did not even like golfing and it was because I wasn't good at it but then Hunter and I practiced like 30 minutes every single day I got way better super fast like faster than I expected so I'll definitely be doing more if you guys like this type of content let me know too because then I can add it I'll see you later